This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. Hey guys, welcome to Braille Racer Life. My name is Maddie Stoltman. Oh man, what a freaking weekend. So I have probably mentioned to you guys before that I'd consider myself an introvert, meaning um, I do like time with one-on-one -on -one with people and my people. Um, but a lot of human interaction exhausts me <laughs> and holy man, I'm exhausted after this past weekend. So things went great. We hosted, uh, the biggest event we've ever put on. Um, we had the level up barrel race Friday night, and then we had two days of roping Saturday, Sunday, and we held it at the fairgrounds, um, here in Ellensburg. So different than having it at our own house. So there was a different experience and a lot bigger than we've ever done. Everything went well. Um, there was not much sleep on Friday night. It was a late night, early morning type of thing. Um, but for the most part, I think everything went quite well um, and minimal issues, which is great. So I'll show you guys a little about our event weekend and how that all went. All right, <laughs> this is my before. Probably should have bought barrel covers, but I didn't, so. In a pain. Alright, so this seems <laughs> I'm a little worried about doing this by myself. Uh yeah, my barrels are all painted now. Um Cody mentioned to me they look really dark, they're black metallic. So I got some duct tape. We're kind of rednecking this a little bit. I'm gonna probably put a line of duct tape, colored duct tape, mind you around the top and bottom of the barrel and then that will be sort of in the center so yeah I probably should have just bought barrel covers but I was way too last minute so here we are and yes I only need three barrels but I have a fourth as a backup I figure just in case lord knows Kiwi prizes. I don't have kids, nor do I know much about kids under 10. <laughs> so I talked to a couple of my girlfriends who have kids and kids that run in peewees asked what they do for peewee prizes. Most places do a little prize bag for all the peewees. So I did that. And then the fast time peewee is also going to get the unicorn. So I'm hoping it's a girl that wins because a boy not, might not be super excited about this, but I kind of want it. down in here. Dally's riding in the back. Um, I don't have to take the freeway to the fairgrounds. Um, the back road is safer, so she's fine back there. Anyway, off we go. Barrel race day. I'm excited, a little stressed. <laughs> I am usually pretty laid back, so thankfully that helps me deal with stressful days. Um, that said, I still have a lot to do, and I think that's why I'm kind of, uh, uh, but it'll all come together. Um, you know, for some reason I thought setting up a booth, a level up booth at the level up barrel race was a good idea. In theory, yes, um, but it's more things to do. So uh, I luckily have hired um, the cousin of one of the girls I coach. She's gonna be my booth girl today. So, but she can't drive yet. So <laughs> I gotta still haul all the stuff down there, uh, but she'll be able to set up and do run that and everything. Um, but I'm headed down to the fairgrounds now. Um, got some banners to hang up. Um, just make sure everything's kind of in order. Uh, get the prizes there. Get ready to mark the barrel pattern, all that fun stuff. <laughs>
Cody let me sleep in today. So that was really nice. <laughs> um, in my defense, he came home before me last night. Um, of course, once he was done driving tractor, he was able to leave, which is awesome. I told him go home, get some sleep. And I stayed to help the girls with um, putting, giving out the awards and stuff like that. Um, and we were there till a little after midnight. Um, yeah. So anyway, got home, went to sleep. It's now 8.30, getting ready to go back to the fairgrounds again. Uh, first day of roping is today. Uh, like I said, Cody let me sleep in a little bit. Thank God. <laughs> I'm tired, but it's going to be a great day. So um, yeah, we had a really awesome turnout at the barrel race, you guys. My goal was to get 100 entered in the open. So we ended up with 137 running, which was so cool. Uh, the turnout was great. Tons of people were level up, which is really, really cool. The support was awesome. Um, we got lots of good feedback. Uh, everything went well. I thought it was really fun. The ground was phenomenal. Cody put a lot of work into the ground, um, as well as helping, having Bill, one of the rodeo board members, help with the ground as, uh, too. So it was beautiful. Everything turned out awesome. Um, I'm really pleased with it. My runs, personally, weren't awesome. <laughs> Jada actually had a beautiful run. Um, she just kind of quit running home on me nothing I could really falter on. I thought she did great. And then Hot Sauce was just very full of himself <sighs> before we warmed up. He was actually warmed up good, but yeah, he was kind of wild. I think he would just wore himself out. And then yeah, by the time I went in there and ran, I kind of yanked on him and he was just, it was not great, but whatever. Um, he actually won some 5D money, so that part's okay. <laughs> but anyways, gonna get myself put together here and head back to town and do roping day first, day one today. It's a bit of a hike to get up to where the announcer is set up. So I went up these stairs, it felt like a million times every day. Um, I'm in pretty good shape, but I was definitely worn out. <laughs> Dally didn't seem to mind. It's 9 p.m. I'm so tired. Um, I'm really excited to go home and sleep. And uh, everything went well today. Uh, it was different hosting a roping at a different facility that is in our house. Um, obviously, you know, the lay of things is a little different, but it all went really well. The cattle were good. The office was organized. Like, it just was a good day. Um, lots of great feedback from the ropers, which is always good. And Cody watched, or Cody actually won the last roping, which is so awesome. Um, I'm really happy for him and excited for him and proud of him that he is able to, um, you know, put on an event and also rope in it because I think that shift in your head as a competitor is really difficult um, to have so much going on where you're in charge of everything and then be able to kind of switch it into focus mode and go compete. So I'm very proud of him. Um, and I was actually helping push cattle up uh, during the last roping. So I got to have a front row seat and watch the whole thing. So super stoked for him. Um, but yeah, headed home now. I'm going to go feed horses, um, eat something for dinner and then go to sleep and then do it all over again tomorrow. I think even my sidekick is a little bit tired on you. Oh yeah. We're loaded down in here. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you for watching. And those of you that came out and supported the barrel race, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm really grateful for all of our amazing help. We had some unbelievable helpers. Um, we had a Bill Lau is his name. He's the gentleman who is kind of the expert when it comes to um, barrel racing ground. And he helped Cody to make sure that everything was awesome. The ground was great. Um, we had really great helpers in the office. Um, I had lots of people step in and help where it was needed to take time only money at the gate, uh, to be kind of the gate whipper in person to make sure that we kept things rolling. Um, just yeah, I'm beyond grateful for all the helpers and for all the people that attended, so thank you. Uh, it was definitely a learning experience, but I think it went quite well, so I'm really happy with that. 
got more braille racers than we expected, all of that. Roping went well also, uh, but I am exhausted. Like I said, yesterday being Monday was just like a recovery day. <laughs> Still had lots of stuff to do, but was not really getting around fast at all. Um, and then today it's like back to it, trying to get caught up again on life. All right, so I'm actually headed out to Utah tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna be doing things a little different than normal when I go to Utah. I went to take my living quarters trailer in to have the bearings packed and things checked over, and turns out my brakes are not okay. <laughs> so that's something that couldn't be fixed before I hit the road tomorrow. So I'm gonna take my small trailer um, and then I'm gonna have to sleep in either the back of the truck or put a little foamy mattress in the nose of the trailer for um, my trip down and then I think I'll be getting a hotel when I get there I just don't know if I want to rough it <laughs> by staying in a trailer with just a shell and no bathroom no nothing um, largely because there's no showers or anything at that facility so it's like I feel like if I had that I might be able to make it work but I think I'm gonna do the hotel thing. So anyway, it's gonna be a different trip, but I'm looking forward to it. The Extreme Million is where we're headed in Salina, Utah. There's tons of money to be won. It is a big barrel race. It goes on for like 10 days, so I'm gonna be running for two days. Um, so we're packing up and headed out tomorrow. Once I can get my act together, I'm not at all packed yet, so we'll see how that goes. And then head on the 12 hour drive to Salina. So thanks so much as always for watching you guys. I appreciate you and I will see you next week.